let me record and minimize and get so I can write on this. All right. Wow. Hold on. Sorry. Computer's acting up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so they start off giving you this original equation that's in standard mode. And you convert it, solve for y, which you did correctly. Okay, and now when they say make an xy table, What they really mean is you put in some values for X and you figure out what Y is. Uh. And it looks like you did that. You put in zero for X and Y is equal to minus four. Does that say minus four or plus four? Minus four. Actually, I think your answer says plus four. And that's why you got it wrong unless I'm mistaken here. Yeah. It says minus four. I just got it wrong because in class we were rewriting it. Oh, okay. All right. And then, in other words, I'm not sure what this column is for. I guess that is to um, figure out what Y is. Yeah. Notice what you would have to do to f to fill in something here. You'd have to solve it for X. Yeah. Okay. So uh -huh. you would solve it for X by 2X equals minus 5Y minus 20, which means X equals minus 5 halves Y minus 10. So that's uh -huh. what X is equal to. And uh, this is a little strange. Usually X, Y tables only have two columns, X and Y. So I'm not quite sure why they're putting this in here. But if we got to fill in something for that, then that's what I'm putting in. Okay. Yeah. And Y we already solved for that. That's that. Okay. So now yeah. let's start filling in some values. When we fill in zero for X, what do we get for Y? Uh, we get, um, zero, we get Z Which equation are you going to use? I'm going to label them. We got number one. We got number two. We got number three. When I fill in zero for X, which equation are you going to plug in zero for X? Uh, five over two. Just no. the equation one, two, or three? One. No, it's this one here. In other words, it's really easy to calculate Y if I give you zero for X. Plug in zero for X there. What do you get for Y? Uh, negative four. Yeah. That's how they get that answer right there, is that whenever X is zero, mm -hmm. Y is negative four. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's pick another number. Let's plug in one for X. What is Y going to be? Um, well, Y is going to be over to here. Okay, well, here's the well, equation. I, Let me I, write I, this in a different I, color. This I, is the I, equation we're dealing with right here. So I want you to plug in 1 for X. And tell me what y is. Well, y is negative 4. 
Negative I mean, three fifths minus four, right? Oh yeah. Um, oh geez. Um, We're plugging in one for x right there. Yeah. That's Gives you minus two fifths minus four. What is that answer? Uh. Ah, uh, shoot, um. Okay, this is back to arithmetic. You got to be able to know how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers. You just well, I know have to be able decimal. to do that, huh? I know it's probably gonna be a decimal, but no, it's not really. No, it's minus four and two fifths. So it's yeah. minus 4.4. 4. So when x is 1, y is minus 4.4. 4. Okay? Now, the reason you have that answer right there is because somebody substituted 2 for x. And if you substitute a 2 for x, then you have minus 0.48. So you do get that answer. Yeah. And down here, the only reason I can tell is I can see her answers over here on the right. So I know that that should have been a 5. And now, yeah. if I substitute 5 for x, 5's cancel. I get minus 2 minus 4. What is that? Uh, minus 2 minus 4. Uh, that's... Negative. Oh, wait, minus. Wait, where's the equation? Um, I want to know what minus 2 minus 4 is. Oh, would that be 6? It's negative 6. Yeah, negative 6. Yeah, but that's not the same. That's not even close. If you don't get the sign wrong, right, you can't get the problem right. Yeah. Hmm? All right, let's go back to what we need to work on. In other words, you, you can only succeed in algebra if you get really good at this game. Okay, true statement. You have no chance otherwise. So I don't know if you've been putting in your five minutes a night or not on this game, but I want you to. Because otherwise you got no way to advance. You can't do those problems unless you know how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers. So, show me you've gotten better. Negative 11? No. Nope. Oh, wait, 11. Okay, I'm going to go through the method with you. Because now you're just guessing. Okay? So... Which is the subtraction sign? Which is the negative sign? Well, the sign in front of the 11 is the negative sign, and the sign in front of the zero is the subtraction sign. Okay. So that's the subtraction sign. That's the first thing you absolutely have to recognize, is which is which. Now, how do I handle a subtraction problem? Um... You do the opposite? Well, you turn it into an addition problem. Yeah. Okay? So all I have to do is take that subtraction sign and make it an addition sign. That's yeah. step one. Now, once you've done that, you have to change the sign of what was being subtracted. I was subtracting a negative 11. So now I'm going to add a positive 11. And now yeah. the answer becomes clear. It's 11. Okay, keep going. Um, isn't that negative 8? Because you do Is that, You're adding two positive numbers. Oh, eight. Now you're adding a negative number to a positive number. Negative 8. Now, stop for a moment. You're no longer adding and subtracting, you're multiplying. When you multiply and divide, first thing I want you to think about is what's the sign going to be? It's going to be plus or minus? 
Minus. Okay, always. That's the first thing I want. Now multiply the two numbers. What do you get? Uh, 49. Negative 49. That's the way to do it. Okay, when you're doing addition and subtraction, it's different. I want just the answer here. Four. No. Okay, what's the technique that you're supposed to use? Oh, addition. Yes, you change the subtraction to an addition problem. Wouldn't it be four? Okay, in order to change the subtraction to an addition problem, you have to do always two things. You can't just change it to an addition problem. I can't just do that. Yeah. I've got, if I'm going to change that subtraction sign to an addition sign, then I've got to also change the sign of whatever was being subtracted. So that's all yeah. you've got to remember. You've got to do two things. Now what's the answer? Uh, negative four. What's eight plus plus four? Oh, um, 12. Okay. Keep going. Give me sign first. Sign first, always, whenever you're doing multiplication or division. Positive. Okay. And then, um, that's 27. Okay. Good. Sign first. Positive, I appreciate Good. Negative times a negative is a positive. Now, what's 7 times 11? 77. 77. Okay. Now, this is addition and subtraction. This is not multiplication and division. So, I don't want you to think of sign first. I want you to change it to an addition problem. Where is the subtraction sign? Which negative sign is it? First, second, uh, or third? Second. Okay. So if I do that, now what do I have to do in order to make that correct? I can't just do that arbitrarily. You can't change subtraction to addition without doing something else. What else do I have to do? Uh, you have to change negative 8. So positive 8. Okay, and now here's the problem. Minus 4 plus positive 8. When you are adding a positive and a negative number, what do you do? Uh, you have the, the bigger number, you keep the sign of the bigger yeah. number? But first of all, you subtract. When you are adding a negative number and a positive number, you subtract the two numbers, which gives you four, and then you put a sign on it of whichever was the bigger number. Well, eight's bigger than four, so it's a plus four. Yeah. So just because you see all these negative signs does not make it a hard problem. There are three negative signs there. If you handle it with the same exact method every time. Yeah. What's up? I'm here in North Carolina. Oh, yeah, zero. Okay, keep going. Uh, six. Keep going. Sign first, because we're doing multiplication and division. So isn't that a division? Isn't the, is the slash division? Yes. Um, oh, shoot, is it? Sign first. Sign's easy. Uh, positive. No, we are dividing a positive number by a negative number. Negative. Always, when you have one positive and one negative, and you are doing multiplication or division, your answer is going to be negative. If you have two positives, it's going to be positive. If you have two negatives, it's going to be negatives. But if you have two signs that are opposite, it's always going to be negative. And then what's the number? What's 72 divided by 9? 8. Negative 8. Good. 
Negative eight. Do you know the rule of nines? A little bit. I don't. Well, let me show it to you because it's pretty nifty. And you'll never have a problem with it. Two times nine is 18. Three times nine is 27. The moment you spot a pattern, you tell me what it is, what that pattern is. Uh, it's up one. Notice what these two numbers add to. What do they add to? 18. No, one and eight. What do one and eight add to? Uh, nine. What did two and seven add to? Nine. What did three and six add to? Nine. What did four and five add to? Nine. So whenever you're multiplying a number by nine, the first digit is always one less than the number you're multiplying it by. In other words, in this case, I was multiplying it by two, so the first digit is one. Second digit yeah. is whatever it takes to add to nine. In other words, there is a rule in mathematics that says if a number is divisible by nine, then its digits add to nine. If I take this number right there, is that divisible by nine? No. Add up its digits. Uh, yeah. yeah, they add to nine, right? Yeah. In other words, one plus zero plus one plus two plus five adds to nine. That means that is divisible by nine without a remainder. Oh, uh, okay. Good rule to know, right? Yeah. I mean, that's a really nifty rule to know. How about this number? Is that divisible by nine? Uh, I can't see it. Hmm. Minimize your go to meeting screen. Don't close it out. Just minimize it. Hit the two arrows that are close together. Now can you see it? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, I'm not sure why you don't see the right side of my screen. Let me draw it on the left oh, side. I, I can. No, uh, you see both sides? Yeah. Okay. The reason you weren't seeing it the first time is because your go to meeting screen was open. And you don't really need it open. You can minimize it so you're not looking at it all the time. It's taking up space on your desktop which you don't want to yeah. do. So, okay. So is this number right here, is that divisible by nine? No. No, because the digits add to eight. For a number yeah. to be divisible by nine, the digits have to add up to nine. Yeah. In other words, is that divisible by nine? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Nine goes into that exactly 12 times. Okay, so that's the rule of nines, and that really is handy because it tells you that, wow, nine has nine times eight has to be 72. So yeah. No, eight is the correct answer. Okay, keep going. Uh, well, it's not like that's cool. Uh, that's a lot, Nate 11. Nope. Do it. Oh, I mean, I taught you how to do subtraction. If you're going to change the subtraction sign, what else do you have to change? The 11 to a positive okay. 11. So what do you get? You get 0 plus a plus 11. Are there any negatives in that? No. No. You get... Here's what you get. You get... You change that to a plus, you got to change that to a plus. So now you have 0 plus plus 11. When you have two pluses together, what do you do? Uh, you choose. Forget one of them. In other words, yeah. two pluses means one plus. It means the same as that. What's 0 plus 11? Uh, 11. Okay.
Okay, Jackson, I need you to work on this on your own because your parents are yeah. paying an awful lot for me to work on this with you online. And it's just not necessary. This, you need to consider this like a video game you want to get good at. How do you get good at a game? You play it. You practice it. What's the sign on this one? It's a native, so it's going to be a native. No, this is not. So what's the first digit of the answer got to be? A uh, five. What's the second digit got to be? Four. Perfect. See how that rule of nine works nicely? Yeah. What's this? Do it methodically. By that I mean do it by the method I taught you. These will not be hard as long as you use the correct method every single time. 19. Perfect. Uh, native 16. Perfect. Sign first. Oh, that's a, well, it's a positive. Okay. And then it's, um, shoot, uh, This you just have to memorize. Uh, yeah, you just kind of have to memorize it. In other words, you could count up by eights, and you could go 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. But that's a hard way to do it, and you don't want to do math like that. Yeah. The reason I want you to practice this is because whether you're trying or not, eventually you'll memorize that that is 40. Even if yeah. you're not trying. If you're just playing it, not thinking a bit. You do this enough and you will memorize these. And you've got to memorize them perfectly. It's not good to just be 90% on these. You've got to know them all. Trust yeah. me, that's the only solution. Okay? What's the sign on this one? Uh, Native. What's the number? Uh, 70. Okay. Here's one. What? Where's the neg Where's the subtraction sign? Which Which dash? Uh, middle of eleven and eight. What's that? In the middle of eleven and eight. Okay. So what's the answer? A uh, negative. Um... Oh wait. You're so close. Uh, Come on. Give it to me. Three. No, what's 11 and 8? Oh, 11 and 8 is 19. Okay. So this is ele minus 11 plus a minus 8, right? Here, let me just yeah. let me make sure that you see exactly how we're doing this, because this is probably the toughest one for people. Okay? You have to, first of all, identify the subtraction sign. That's it. That yeah. is a negative sign, okay? So I'm going to change the subtraction sign to a plus, and yeah. what else do I have to do? You have to change 11. Not 11. It's what follows the subtraction sign, not what is preceding it. It's what follows it. Um, 8. I have to change that because that was actually a positive 8. So, in, other oh, words, okay. in other words, when I was doing this, that 8 had a positive sign on it. Yeah. Okay? That was the same as that. Exactly. But the moment I changed that to a subtraction, or an addition, excuse me, then yeah. I got to change that to a minus. And now if I said, what's a minus 11 plus minus 8? Uh, negative 19. That's how you do it. Okay. Work on these. Jackson, we really, I, I can see you're getting a little bit better, but you need to get a lot better. You really okay. don't have any chance at algebra unless you get a lot better at this page. Uh, and there's no other way to do it. I know that, uh, I don't know if anybody believes different than that, but the way I believe is that you have to master this. You just have to. Okay. And you're young enough so that shouldn't be that hard to master this. And once you do, math is going to open up for you like you cannot believe. Like you are a magician. 
Like, oh, yeah. He's got to convince you to get perfect at this game. And the only way you're going to get perfect at it is to practice it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. Jackson, I'll talk to you next time. You have a good evening. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay.